Today we're going to review the Red Packet Bonanza. And um, I'm also going to update you guys with what's going on in our KVK currently. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been very, very excited. You have seen all the battle videos that we have been putting out. All these war videos against K22. Make sure to check out the uh, card up there. We're going to put a card. Make sure to check it out. It's going to be the entire playlist of KVK Season 3. So, if you're not caught up, make sure to check that playlist out. So if you love Rise of Kingdoms content and just can't get enough of it, um, subscribe to this channel because we create regular Rise of Kingdoms content. In addition to that, it's 100% free, right? When you subscribe, you're actually supporting me as a content creator to be successful here in the YouTube platform. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button and turn that notification on if you're enjoying the content. Let me know by hitting thumbs up. In addition to that, I'm trying to get your opinions. There's going to be a survey link down in the description below. I want to hear your honest feedback into our contents. Now, what this does is that it allows us to improve and get better here on YouTube. And I'm sure you want me to get better because you're enjoying the content here. All right. So anyway, rockers, let's get on with the video. So red packet bonanza. So I'm looking at this, and if you don't know what a red packet is in Chinese, it's called hong bao, or we say it in uh, Hokkien or Minan is uh, ang bao, uh, which is what I you know grew up to uh, use the, the Chinese word ang bao. And uh, in the Philippines, there's a lot of uh, Hokkien speakers. So they, if you're from the Philippines and you are Chinese, you're probably going to understand what I'm saying. So um, usually when you get these um, red envelopes, it comes with money. So remember, Lilith gave us a um, red envelope, if you guys remember, in a couple of videos that we did for the first uh, video when the past uh, past uh, six open up or past five open up. I forgot now. Um, so we got this, right? This is Hong Pao or Ang Pao. So usually um, you get some cash inside and then you give it to um, whoever it is. Uh, so that's what it is. And then Lucky Fu. So if you guys don't know what Fu means, um, this is Fu. All right. It's, it's supposed to bring luck. So I'm trying to educate you guys. Hopefully I'm, I'm correct. I'm, actually, if I'm not correct, just, you know, disgrace me as an Asian. <laughs> Uh, it disgrace me as a Chinese person. Uh, I'm Chinese, but I grew up in the Philippines, and most of my culture is actually Filipino Chinese. Um, I'm a second generation uh, Filipino Chinese. Okay. All right. So looking at this event, it's uh, very interesting because there's you can only get uh, two legendary commander sculptures. You get seven uh, dazzling starlight sculptures. Now I could say it's a great event, especially for free to play. Uh, before you rage, let me let me get you this thought process. A lot of reader plays have you know complained sometimes. Uh, more event for pay to win, right? So in this event, the way I see it, they're trying to balance it so pay to win can get a whole lot of legendary commander sculptures right away. Um, I'm not expecting that there will be a big bundle and a recharge event, but I could be wrong. Uh, there could be a recharge event. There could be another bundle coming out, but it doesn't make sense to me. To have a bundle that come out and where you can donate to the stuff in here for the red packet bonanza. Now, how can you get the lucky fool to donate like that? Now, what you need to do is you have to click the alliance help, and then you have to defeat barbarian forts, and you have to purchase in the courier station. So, what I have done here, I have a barbarian fort already ready here. I saved it up. You can do that. You can, uh, you know, keep track of all of it. Use your presets. Go here. There we go. We're rallying it with T5. I don't know why my preset's on T5. I could have used my minimal T4. <laughs> I don't have any much more truce for T4. Um, yeah. So um, that's my opinion in here. I mean, what do you think? Let me know. And um, you know what? I want to share you guys that um, I just found out today that I am a monkey. Oh, oh, don't laugh yet. I am... A water monkey. What the hell does a water monkey means? All right, so uh, here's here's what it is. It, it says that I am a water monkey, because I was born 1992, so my Chinese zodiac is water monkey. So I'm curious, what is your zodiac, and do we have some water monkey uh, players in here? So you know, 1992 is the year of the monkey you know, for the Chinese zodiac, and um, our lucky number is five and six, yellow and brown. 
can't get that any more wrong. Yellow and brown. Um, monkeys are born in the 1992. We have a very good fortune here in 2020, hopefully. Hmm? Right? Um, honestly, we started off January and here on YouTube, very successful. So I'm hoping that we can keep projecting that way. So um, I really need your support here. Um, they will have a stable salary, hopefully. Their friends will give them some money. Where I, where's my friends? I'm just, I, I need to start, uh, uh, get, you know, getting in touch with them. Um, for thanks when asking them for help. So yeah, I, I really do help out a lot, right? I help everybody a lot. Uh, for those people who knows me on Discord, who have messaged me, I always try to help you guys. I really try not to ignore anybody who ever reach out to me. So, hmm. so the question is, are you guys my friends then? Um, it says here, their friends will give them some money for thanks when asking them for help. Hmm, I don't know. I have my stream labs down there, so feel free to check it out. Um, also, they are likely to earn some on the lottery. Maybe I should, hmm, what's a good lucky number? Oh, besides five and six. All right, it says here, but don't be greedy and too addicted to it. Yeah, addiction is not in our vocabulary. Um, in the aspect of career, they may get promoted and increase in salary. Hopefully we do get that. Um, oh, we have some reminder here for Alienware. Uh, most of them will receive appreciation from their leaders because of their good performances and hardworking and modest, uh, keeping modest and having good relationship with colleagues necessary. Um, this guy, this thing. In love and relationship, they may meet their future lovers and they are suggested to grasp the chance and pursue their love bravely. Ah. I'll tell you more about it in some of my vlogs and keep you guys updated with my life as well. I don't mind sharing my life, right? I'll, I'll keep you guys updated what's going on. Uh, the relationship of a married monkey. I'm not a married monkey, but let's read it. Uh, with their wives and husbands will be improved a lot. So good, good. That's good to, it's good to read. Um, they love and treasure each other more and more. All right. So there's more information here. I mean, this whole video is not just for this water monkey thing here. But I want to know what is your actual zodiac and what element of uh, zodiac are you? So I'm a water monkey, right? I'm a water monkey. What are you? Let me know in the comment section below and um, help me out as well. Let me know, you know, when was your uh, year of birth? All right. You don't need to put when is your birthday, but just, you know, your year of birth would be amazing. And then what um, zodiac element and the sign you are. All right. So let's get back into the game. All right. So now we're back into the game. And um, I promised you guys right earlier that we are going to update you with what's happening here in our Lost Kingdom. So initially what we have done, what we have seen in the video, and there's more videos coming out as well. Um, what we have done is we've really secured this area. You know how strong our kingdom is for us to secure this area. So basically, um, 228 sealed off you know, um, Kingdom 22. Fearless fighters here in Kingdom 22. I want to give them that um shout out because they were tough fighters we fought them day to day and they were just relentless now in this area we had the um, om if uh, ss and scy okay so they were like stagger like that over there um om which is where i am at uh most of the time um i was fighting directly with um k22 if if i'm correct they were fighting with 22 17 and 20 and then ss was also fighting with 20 and as well as sc so if i miss something correct me i wasn't really paying attention a whole lot on the on the right side of the map or in the east side of the map i was more focused on um in in the pink side so so correct me if i'm wrong and then what happened is the short story right getting into the point where what happened now is that we were making progress we were pushing pov at one day and one day I was burning a whole lot of flags but then for suddenly I don't know what happened um, they started building forts in here and we had to manipulate our strategic movement to burn that fort um, but uh, we just got outpowered you can see there are four colors in here there's pink blue yellow and red we were able to handle pink blue yellow once red came it was that was the pretty much the difficulty part. So um, I just want to say, I mean, great progress in here from the opponent kingdoms. 
Um, nothing but respect that I can give to them. I do want to mention is that I really didn't fought with the Blue Kingdom or the Seventeen Kingdom. I briefly fought K20, and um, it's they were a tough opponent there. I mean, we had the video there. So uh, most of my fights were with Pink. So if you know you guys are trying to get some statement from me about Seventeen and Twenty or Two Thirty Four, I really don't have anything. But I have a lot of um you know responses to the pink because i was more focused to them so um hopefully i didn't disappoint anybody here <laughs> hopefully um I, I try not to disappoint anybody i'm trying to be more as neutral as i can and try to state the facts that of what i've seen so um let me know in the comment section below now you may ask should i talk about our allies um i i don't know Right, I don't, I didn't focus much with our allies. Like, I don't really know a whole lot, and I don't want to get into the politics of it. I know some bits and pieces, but I don't want to get into it. I love my allies. I like them for who they are, and I like them out in and outside of the game. So, um, you know, I like them. I mean, I think they they've both fought a lot, and I know I know some people here in two hundred one. And um, some people here in 261 as well have fought a lot. So um, there's going to be some biased opinions. You guys will hear, you know, one side, one another side. I, you know, if you guys are listening to that, what I would suggest is to hear out both sides and then evaluate your situation or evaluate the situation of what uh, is actually happening. So I'm not going to talk about my allies. I think they've done an amazing job and um, I'm still friends with them. And um, I hope, um, you know, this is a video game, right? I hope we don't tarnish any freaking relationship out of spite in a video game like this is supposed to be us having fun competitive sportsmanship and um so far i want to i gotta say that um by far this lost kingdom has been very very respectful um the chat you know when i go to chat i troll um been very very respectful and i want to shout out to every single one here i mean I, I don't know every single one's name, but if you're here, I want to say thanks for being respectful and um, i really appreciate the competitiveness and sportsmanship um so hopefully keep it up and um yeah so that's pretty much what happened in our kingdom um we're gonna be you know of course not letting anybody in this area right we're, we're gonna do, be doing our best that's already um you know uh, laid out pretty obvious we'll see what happens um plans wise I, i'm not at liberty to say nor i don't even know to be honest um i've told the leadership here before point me to where there's a war you know, one time they started building a fort in this area. Uh, there was a pink fort, there was a red fort, there was a yellow fort. And hell, I was at dim sum. I was having lunch. And I said, what the hell is going on? And a random Arab messaged me a messenger and I had to log in right away. And um, yeah, it's it's a very, very, very interactive uh, KVK, I'd say. Um, regardless of the result, I'm very, very happy with Kingdom 228. Uh, from uh, you know, from OM, from IF being able to defend on multiple sides, from SCY and SS for being able to lend their uh, players to defend and fight, um, amazing. And um, in OM, which is where I was mainly on, I'm so amazed because how active and strong we are, and how we were able to um, resist any push from POV, and while we were constantly pushing towards to the south but eventually we were pushed back because it wasn't really worth it to be fighting four kingdoms at once in here so it was kind of difficult um besides that like i'm just gonna say if you're from 228 i want to say thumbs up to you um thanks for being here because i'm really really proud of every single one of you gave up your troops as well um sending resources to players that needed it uh, just amazing support. So I'm very, very um, fortunate to have you guys here in the kingdom. And I hope that you're still enjoying and having fun. Uh, also, I want to make a special shout out as well. Almost forgot. We have a new alliance in the kingdom, uh, which is the DR, which is players from Kingdom 227, which is the kingdom that we fought in for uh, KVK Season 1. And then there were our, our allies in KVK Season 2. I want to just shout out to the DR players and a uh, hell of a job, hell of a, a fighting from you guys and amazing planning and um, work. Um, what we all know with 227, they were an amazing strategist uh strategists strategists they were amazing strategists and um, what they have contributed here in the 228 is what you have seen as well 
uh, you know, you can see the strategy of our layout. Um, I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe the, the DR Alliance have really had a major contribution for the success of um, where we are right now. I want to say success because I like what I'm seeing. So even though we may not get into the King's Land, the King's Land isn't always the you know everything right there's in the achievement wise there's more things that you can achieve so that's only one thing so i'm really really proud of here i want to say thank you for all the dr if you are a dr member um i want you to be proud of yourself thanks for coming here in 228 it's an amazing journey and i hope to continue um you know consecutive journeys with you guys um as long as i'm here i think i will be i think i will be staying here uh, i really don't have any plans on leaving so if you are interested coming in in the next KVK, uh, feel free to contact me directly. I will hook you up, get into OM. But we are looking into tough players. We're not looking for uh, players that are just, you know, mm, right? We're looking for fighters. We're looking for active fighters, passionate fighters, a uh, passionate gamer. And um, of course, we're looking for very respectful people, not just within the Alliance, but also when we get into KVK, we're looking for respectful players that will respect our opponents and be sports, right? Be having that sportsmanship is what we're looking here in Kingdom 228. So I want to clear out any doubts. At this moment, no plans of migrating, no plans on leaving. At this moment, I have plans to continue Season 4 with this Kingdom, unless something happens. But for this, as of today, I have no plans, all right, of leaving. I do have a lot of passports, but... That's only for um, emergency cases basis, but I don't think it's going to happen. Majority of the players that I have played with for uh, over a year now are still here with me. So there's no good reason for me to leave them, uh, uh, you know, unless there's something really, really um, terrible happening in the kingdom, then I will. But I love the kingdom. And um, so far, um, maybe you guys are wondering because I have some resentment in the last KVK and I'm coming into just KVK. We've talked it out and I think we've uh, let some bygones be bygones by then. And um, I just want to say, you know, they've done the leadership here has so far has uh, uh, done a great job so far. So that's one thing I want to mention here before we end the video. So I want to say for the leadership of 228, keep it up because what I saw here in KVK season three is that we are definitely a strong and active keyword is active kingdom all right anyway rockers um i don't know if i missed something but let me know in the comment section below if i did and um just uh keep having fun and keep fighting and um don't yield too easily and um, don't forget to rate my videos all my videos just rate my videos in one survey it'll be on the link in the description below please i need your feedback from that and um, we're going to do more battle testing. And I also want to mention is that this battle report that you guys have seen for my um, Attila montage video. So make sure to check it out. The montage is really fun. You can learn a lot of things in there. You can see how we knock down Attila. And you can see also how we get knocked down by Attila. So you can see Constantine and Richard here defending. Um, I'm really, really curious if it was Martel. If it would have done a much better job. So... Definitely my tier list is going to change because I was told that I overrated Constantine in the beginning and then I moved Constantine down, but I feel like Constantine is up there. So we are going to be adjusting our tier list at some point. Um, this battle report, I want to tell you guys, man, Attila is deadly. And Takeda here, look at this battle report, right? It's pretty even. But when you go to the... Mm, here, Takeda is not maxed oh and even attila is not even maxed out yet so that's still deadly but by far this is the best report i have seen um with constantine and richard so if you are going to be defending against attila and takeda maybe constantine is the key to stop these two um perhaps try uh, martel or perhaps try a um Wu. It may be very interesting check it out try it um the only way you would you know learn is for you to try the combinations and um in the video that i've shown you in the in the uh, montage video in the first clip we swarmed until Takeda and it really went down you really have to swarm it honestly it, it does cost a lot but if you want to 
put fear into the enemy, you have to swarm it. Now, I'll give you guys more information at the end after KVK. Some of my thought processes during our war here. And, um, you know, some of my strategy when I'm rallying and how I'm diverting. And um, there's a lot of things that's going on, right? Not, not everything that you see is just like me going to one straight linear uh, position. Like, I need to rally this position. I need to rally that position, right? There's multiple factors that comes into my brain. Why am I rallying this? Why am I rallying that? And what is my rally going to do to them? Dividing their attention or not? Anyway, rockers, um, I've also been sick lately. Um, yeah, uh, I just want to say that good luck in your KVK. And um, if you want to support me more, uh, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you're new, come and subscribe. And if you want to see some merch, we have some amazing merch here. And uh, I'm going to be ordering some too. So I'm going to start wearing them as well. So if you want to support my channel even more, I would love for you guys to represent and walk around with the Shinchi 42 shirt or a rocker shirt so that people will be asking, what does that rocker means? And you can say, yeah, I'm a rocker from Rise of Kingdoms. Anyway, see you later, rockers. Goodbye.